Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Today is day six of our transatlantic crossing and we are in Grand Canary today. And today is also a show day, so we are going to get off for a little bit, walk around because I've never been here. We've had two port days in Spain so far, so check out part one if you haven't seen that already. I have quickly gotten ready and I'm gonna get off the ship. We're on our way to Starbucks. We're getting very adventurous, <laughs> as you can see. But they came out with their winter drinks, like their, their holiday drinks, if you will. We missed the mark on the fall drinks, so we're gonna have to skip to the holiday drinks. But that's okay with me. We found her. I think it's still fall here. Have a good day. Bad news, they only had pumpkin flavored fall drinks and then on top of that, they were out of almond and oat milk. So I had to get coconut milk, which I don't, I don't think I've ever had, so I'm not sure I'm gonna like it, but I got a iced chai latte with coconut milk and the vanilla cold foam on top. I'm not mad about it. Lunch time. Oh, it's so cute on the inside. We were just about to order, and then we found out that they aren't serving lunch until 1.30. So now we're gonna try somewhere else. This place looks promising. these poke bowls <gasps> they look insane we keep seeing signs for chocolate and churros so it's our little treat after our nice healthy lunch oh <laughs> the dunkaroo action mm. We're back on board. I do need to start getting ready for our shows tonight. So it's about 2.15. Our shows, I think, are at 7 and 9 this evening. But we do have first warm-ups. So I'm going to throw on a YouTube video and I am going to get right to it. But my lunch today was so good. I think that was my first ever official poke bowl that I ordered. Um, I don't know if it counts because I got quinoa instead of rice, but it was delicious. And I am sufficiently full, but I feel fueled. So I have... Lots of yummy nutrients in me for shows tonight. Before I forget, I wanna take all of my supplements for the day because I actually forgot to take them this morning. So I'm gonna do this quickly before I get ready, but I wanna take a moment to thank Ritual for sponsoring this video. You guys know how important supplements are to my daily routine, and it's been something I have been keeping up with for months and months now, which I'm really proud of because I think this is the first year that I have taken vitamins and supplements seriously. And now is the the perfect time to give Ritual a try because they have a limited time Black Friday Cyber Monday sale which gives you 40% off all of Ritual's clean, traceable, and science-backed products. In my opinion, this is the best time to buy because this is one of the highest offers I have seen from Ritual. So I've been taking the Essential for Women 18 Plus multivitamin for probably six months now, maybe longer, and this is a clean, high-quality multivitamin for ages 18 to 49 which really helps me fill key nutrient gaps in my diet. It's pretty much impossible to meet all your nutrient needs from food alone, especially while I'm on the ship and more importantly during the holiday season. So it's really important to supplement with a multivitamin. Like I said, these are made for ages 18 to 49 and they're great because they are science backed and they're really easy to take. You take two capsules per day with or without food. The Essential for Women is USP verified and just to put that into perspective, less than 1% of multivitamins have received this mark. Because they are a delayed release capsule, they're really gentle on your stomach and they are also mint flavor, which is really nice as well. This is one of the biggest sales I've seen Ritual do this year, so definitely don't miss out on the limited time opportunity. You can use my code JBALTH40 for 40% 40 off your entire order. I'll make sure to have all the details linked below as well as my code.
Ah! And here we are. It is showtime in my costume. Yay. Seconds before we go out for opening. And it sounds very quiet. <laughs> And the rock has started because we left the port, so oh, the rock we're, gonna, has started. we're gonna have a rocky, <laughs> listy show. This dress. Dressing. Warm up. <laughs> rock, Warm up paper, the port. morning it's the next day i slept like a log last night i was so exhausted from the shows shows went really well but i was just so tired afterwards that i i passed out and we also gained an hour of sleep last night so i got a really good night of sleep woke up at 7 30 had breakfast kind of organized the cabin a little bit and now i want to head up to the gym and get a workout in it is incredibly rocky though because we have finally started the crossing to the states i presume that it's going to be this rocky or even more rocky as the days go on every single contract i've done at least one crossing if not two and thankfully i don't get seasick so i should be fine but i do just get drowsy and sleepy if that but anyways i want to get up to the gym i probably will follow a chloe ting video again i'm literally so obsessed with this shelf like i'm never gonna get over it but this is my little gym outfit for the day. I'm going for an all blue moment. And I'm going to pop in my AirPods for the trip there. But I have been obsessed with this song lately. Ladies and gentlemen. very productive day thus far i just got back from lunch i was actually pleasantly surprised by lunch today they had garlic fried rice which was really yummy so i made a little grain bowl with that and i have been plugging away at editing i also had the best workout i felt so good afterwards and i feel really energized right now i've only had one coffee and i made it with my protein powder so it was kind of like a protein powder sort of coffee and honestly, I don't feel like I need another coffee. Like, my energy levels are great at the moment, but I do want, like, a little afternoon pick-me-up, so I might, I might make one. I still have my ghost mug, which I will be still using, but it's not Halloween anymore. So instead, I'm gonna use this mug. Super cute. I got it at the grocery store in Greece, and it's done me well so far. It is the evening. We have our block of all skates. So baby T, Graham, and I are on all skates this evening. 6.45 to 9. And then I think we're getting Johnny Rockets for dinner after. <laughs> and I'm so excited. I haven't had it yet, this contract. And I didn't have it on Wonder, so it's gonna be a good time. I'm so excited to eat. <gasps> Woohoo!
I already have lost track of what day it is of the cruise. I honestly don't even know. Should probably check that. But today is day eight of the crossing. We still have about a week left until we arrive in Miami. And from here on out, it's just sea day after sea day. So I am going to be confused every single day what day of the week it is and what day of the cruise it is. But we got another extra hour of sleep last night. So I woke up again around seven o'clock this morning and felt really fresh, had some breakfast, went to the gym and I've just had like a slow morning because I have so much time to kill today. Plan for today is pretty much the same as yesterday. I am going to work an hour of Wi-Fi and I am planning to do some open ice. So that'll be fun. And then this evening I'm working crew skates because we do hold ice skating for the crew tonight. So that'll be from 10.30 to midnight. The Johnny Rockets last night was out of this world. I also ordered the Smokehouse Burger with a double patty, which is a very big moment for me because I have not eaten an actual burger, like beef patty burger, in five years. If you don't know, I was vegetarian for like three and a half years. I just recently started eating meat again this past year when I went to Wonder. To be blunt, they just do not provide sufficient food for us on the ship as a crew member, and that is even without any dietary restrictions. So being vegetarian on the ship is is a struggle, it's a challenge because they just don't give you enough sources of protein and anything other than meat. So I made the decision before going to Wonder that I would start eating chicken again so I could at least have that. And I've been eating chicken now for like seven months, which has been fine. And I like here and there will have other kinds of meat, but it's kind of rare. But last night I went in full force for the beef patty and my stomach hurts a little today, but not as bad as I anticipated. So it was well worth it. Obviously, it's a decision in the future and I might change my mind, but I might go back to being vegetarian once I am no longer on a ship just because I have more access to food and alternative protein sources. And I really did enjoy how I felt when I wasn't eating meat. But who's to say? We will cross that road when we get there. But I just went on a whole long rant. All I really was trying to say was that Johnny Rockets was incredible last night. It's 10.15, I have to head back to Studio B because we have crew all skates tonight. So I am on the schedule along with a few other people from my cast. And usually we get some kind of food and like pop as an incentive to work it, which is nice. So hopefully I can have like a Coke Zero or something. It's only till midnight. So I'm gonna be ready for bed when I return back.
been a very chilled yet productive morning. I have just been in the cabin drinking my coffee, which I'm at the very end of, and I've been doing a lot of planning and organizing for the upcoming months of uploads. Proof watched my previous vlog, started editing another vlog, edited a reel. So it's just been a very productive work morning and I am just feeling really accomplished. We've got two shows this evening, so I just wanted to lay low throughout the day. Not gonna make it to the gym. Obviously, I wanna conserve my energy for our shows tonight because they are exhausting. And again, it is so rocky. So I have a feeling that the shows are not going to be easy this evening because we are, we are moving like this. I've just got back from lunch and Callum surprised me with a coffee from the promenade, which was so sweet. So this is a coconut ice latte made with almond milk and it's so good. On a different note, I am extremely behind. I need to start doing my hair and makeup for shows. Just got a little bit engrossed in conversation at lunch, so I lost track of the time. Now I literally have 30 minutes to do hair and makeup. Usually I allow an hour, <laughs> but I think it can be done. So I'm gonna just literally speed through this. Somehow I managed to get that done in 25 minutes. I still have to put on lashes, but that's fine. I can just do that after warm up ice, but I've gotta get changed. And then we've gotta run to Studio B. Here we go. All right, that's better. If there's one thing about me is that I hate being late. When it comes to work, I am on time, always. But everything else in life, I'm a little bit late. I still have plenty of time to warm up and preset. I just am like a little bit behind schedule, but I think we're good. Got my bag, got my water, we're ready to go. day 10 I honestly was so exhausted from shows last night so I fell asleep at I think it was 10 30 last night and we also gained an hour of sleep so I got a good night of sleep I'm feeling pretty well rested today I did pull a muscle in my back yesterday during the shows it was feeling a little bit sore before warm-up ice and then I think I just must have tweaked it in the show for show so I'm feeling a little bit of pain in my back, but that will definitely go away. I want to keep up with going to the gym, but I don't want to overdo it. So my plan for today is to just do the 12, 3, 30. So instead of incline of 12, I'm going to do incline of 15 and then maybe a little bit of abs, but that will be my workout for the day just because I really need to prioritize resting and I don't want this to become an issue. So that's the plan for this morning. And then I am taking a ballroom class with the production cast at 11 o'clock. So I'm super excited about that. So that'll be in the theater. And I've 
always wanted to take some kind of ballroom class, so I'm really looking forward to it. Here's today's gym outfit of the day. So my top is from Amazon. I got it in 2020, so I'll have it linked below. I love it. And then I've got my little Halara leggings on as usual. still pretty rocky today it has its moments where it really swells but that is besides the point I am super excited for this dance class it is a ballroom class which I know absolutely nothing about it's going to be a really good challenge for me and I don't think it's gonna be too strenuous on my like back so anything that starts to hurt and I'm just gonna opt out here's my little dance fit I'm gonna grab my water and then we should be good to go. I am not a dancer. I don't claim to be a good dancer, but it's always good to step out of your comfort zone and try something different. And I mean, a free dance class, I'll take it. Hi. Hey, <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> Cast is here. We're gonna try to dance really poorly. <laughs> All of my footage for the day had no audio, which was so bizarre, but in this clip, I'm just updating you on what's happening. We did have a cast dinner in the dining room. It was so nice that Taras was able to set this up for us. So we did get dialed up because it was formal night and our reservations were at 8.30, which I was so hungry by that time. So I curled my hair, did my makeup, and the dress I am wearing is from Princess Polly. I will try to have it linked below. I was just looking back at the footage from yesterday and I found from the beginning of dance class up until now, the audio was turned off on my camera and I have no idea how that happened and I'm so frustrated. So none of those clips have audio, but should be fixed now. 
today has been a productive day, but I haven't really done too, too much. I did laundry this morning. I've been editing all day. I recorded an interview for a Meet the Cast video, but obviously I have to redo that because there was no audio. Started a new book because the one I've been reading, I just cannot finish. I'm gonna move on to something else and maybe go back to that. It's nearly four o'clock. I am going to work Wi-Fi for two hours, just help out there at the desk. And then this evening there is like a crew appreciation dinner at back deck so from 4 30 to 8 30 they are hosting a little food festival party thing so that should be good i'm excited about that should be some different food than we're usually given in the mess and the mess is closed down tonight because of that so we'll check that out later but first i'm gonna go work some wi-fi i need to change and then that's pretty much it for the day <laughs> we've got a cripple this is round two of the cripple. Huh? Oh. He got his toe sliced open today. So now it socks with sandals. We're heading to the crew appreciation dinner at Back Deck, and I really hope there's some good food there for us. But people are walking with plates, so maybe that's a common thing. Wow, they put balloons up and everything. It's so busy. are Joe and Jess and they have these butterfly magnets so last night I made a design in a heart with the butterflies and this morning I wake up and they're they're on our door in a heart shape which is so cute It smells like Florida. Oh my gosh, we're back, baby. This feels like a never ending cruise. <laughs> we have drill this morning, which is a little bit strange. I've never had drill while at sea. It's always when we are in port. So this will be interesting. So I'm just waiting for drill to start, hence why I'm in my blues. But we do have our final show of the cruise today, this afternoon at three o'clock. So once I finish drill, I'm gonna have to run back here get ready for shows, do my hair and makeup, and then run to Studio B to prepare. I don't think I'm gonna have any time for lunch, but I can't believe we are almost to Miami, and there is a different feeling outside in the air, like walking to breakfast this morning. The air just smelled like Florida. That sounds kind of strange, but to me, Florida has a very distinct smell, but it is a very familiar scent, so it's exciting that we will be back in the States, and then it will be exciting to be in the Caribbean because obviously change of pace is always nice, and I'm excited to get some color again because I have no tan whatsoever. The funniest part about this drill is that like all the activities around the ship are still happening, so there's like music playing right where the the emergency is. We were able to leave drill early because we have to get ready for shows, and drill probably won't end for another. I don't know, 45 minutes <laughs> and we gotta be on the ice. Now I'm just gonna quickly do my makeup. I'm not gonna honestly worry about it too much today because we only have one show. So we're gonna just get this done and then today is a hair washing day which is exciting. And I'm really glad that my back is feeling a lot better than last show day. I'm just gonna get a good warm up in before I get on the ice to make sure that it doesn't flare up again. But I'm gonna quickly do my makeup and then we will head to Studio B to preset, warm up the whole nine yards.
Once again, Ritual is having a limited time sale, so you don't want to miss out. You can scan the QR code below or visit ritual.com slash jboth40 and use my code jboth40 for 40% off. Someday, you can take, you can take, someday.